a while back I showed you the swap that I was in for the ATC group that I'm in and I've got my returns and Deb lives in Idaho and I got him in this cute little kind of Hawaiian package that's what I say it is anyway so I did open it and um, they've kind of started to protrude out I've not looked at not one single one of them but here's the deal you know, in the past, I've always, you know, opened them one at a time. And and I could probably do that this time. However, hmm, she wrote a number on hers. I don't think we were supposed to do that. Um, anyhow, you know, open them one at a time and... um. You know, it was fun, then you're opening one card for 31 days and everything. But this time I kind of thought, you know, since I want to do, since I want to do a video of what my returns are, what better way than just to go ahead, sit down, be a rule breaker, which I'm not normally. That's one of mine. I re I know what it looks like on the outside. <laughs> That's the one I sent in. Um, anyway, I thought I would go ahead and um, open these. So if you don't mind, let's go ahead and do that. Let's open mine first and see which one I got back. I'm glad to see that everything that I sealed it up in and my blueprint and everything is held up. Yay, yay, yay. Yep, I did. That's what I did. I had forgotten all about it. I put a little fly as a little thing to scare folks in everybody's envelope. But shh, don't tell them. Don't tell them. Anyway, this is the one I got back on me. So we'll just set it up here. I'm going to try to line these all up in frame here if I can. So let's try this and then maybe that way. Maybe I put the papers up under it too, because I like sometimes to keep the wrappings off of them. Alrighty, let's do this one. Here we go. Eat, drink, and be scary. Alrighty, let's see. I've actually also done plastic cockroaches inside of them. <laughs> oh, isn't this too cute? He's like a steampunk, steampunk, listen to me, steampunk kind of pumpkin. All right, I'm going to go off screen here, and this one is by Sue. So I do appreciate it, Sue. That is too darn cute. He's three-dimensional, if you can see that. He's three-dimensional with his gear. So put that up there. I'm hoping I can get all 31 of these in screen. All righty. Oh, this is cute. This is It's like there's a scenery in the back, and then she embellished up on top of it. Cute, cute, cute. And I like that paper. I'll definitely use that for something. And I'm feeling like I have to sneeze. This is by Stephanie. So thank you very much, Stephanie. That is really cute with all those bats. All right, now this is a little plasticky. All right, let's see here. I'm not sure which way to get this out of here. And I'm trying. I really don't want to tear up nothing. Oh, I see there's a little. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's in a bag. Okay, now I got it going on. Just had to keep my eye. Let's see here. I'm sorry, everybody. This one's like really in there. And I don't really want to destroy the bag, but it's looking pretty good that that just might be what happens. All right. All right. It's like a skeleton kind of coming up out of the ground. And it says, Vacancy, please join us. And this one is by Celeste. Well, thank you very much, Celeste. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Now, I know this one is in another little bag. I can see this one's in a bag. So let's slide this out. All right. Here. All So let's see. This one looks like it's been stamped. I'm not sure how the papers are. They might have been printed. Um, actually kind of looked like it's all been printed and then it's got a little glossy and some coloring in the moon. 
Um, and let me read what's on the back of here. This is from Carla. It says, tonight's the night for trick or treat and goblins begging for something sweet. Here's a little note to say you're wished a happy Valentine. I'm Valentine. Listen to me. Halloween day. Oh, where is my mind? All right. Let's see here. And all righty. Do I have room up there? Oh, yeah. Poor old micro is about to get covered up. Oh, now this one looks like it could have been hand drawn and painted. Yeah, there's not really. It's got some kind of frame on it, cardstock on it. So it looks like this person maybe did this themselves. And I'm trying to see. This one was done by Elizabeth. So thank you, Elizabeth. All right. This one is in a little fancy sleeve. I don't, I've never seen anything like this. And it's pretty good, too, because look what it does. It hides the Halloween. Oh, ha, ha. All right. That looks like a punch out of a witch and a pretty cool moon on some neat paper. And it's called Witchy Woman. And this is by Rich. Um, him and his wife, Amber, they both get into doing the ATC. So that's pretty cool to have the artsy thing to do with your hubby. And I'm saying hubby only because of the last name. I think that is right. All right, this one is like um, a little girl sitting, a little witch, and the moon, and this is on some pretty stout card stock, and I like her ATC, I'm not going to show you the info, her ATC by me, and this one is done by, let's see where the name is on here, by Karen, so thank you very much, Karen. And we're going to put that over here. All right. And this one, this person signed up for two. And let's see here. I'm just tearing this open. This is kind of a regular old envelope. Um, this is by, and I hope I, I say your name right, Onkai. Oh, definitely hand-drawn. Definitely. It looks like watercolor paper. Very cool. Very cool. And she did two cards. I think they ran just a person or so short. So I know at least she signed up for two. And here's another one that looks like, yep, she's definitely drawing it. So that is very cool. Thank you very much. And let's see this one here. Made her own envelope. And I say her. That's not very nice after I just saw Rich's card, is it? I don't know. I can tell on myself. Tonight we fly. Ah, that is pretty cool. Yep, I agree with you. And I should have known that's Holly. I always love Holly's work. She's always so clever. And this is another one of those little hidden ones. So I'm wondering if this is Amber. And it is. And Amber also usually gives some kind of little surprise paper. So thank you, Amber. And let's see Amber's card. Oh, it's got all kinds of little ghosties and a big old ghostie with a boo. So thank you, Amber. <clears throat> oh, here's another sleeve kind of like that. So, yep, this is Amber as well with another little surprise paper. Thank you. And look at this one. Now that is a pretty darn cool skeleton, I have to say. And I've always liked Amber's work as well. So have a fab boo Halloween. All right, and let's see here. Another one kind of covering up. Let's see what they did. Oh, they put um, some paper on both sides. That's some really cool paper right there. And let's see. The card itself says, Halloween, frightful yet delightful. And yes, it is. And this is from Jeannie. Now, Jeannie is the owner of the um, IO group here for the ATCs. <clears throat> She's been doing it a long time, long time. And uh, I think different people have helped her with it through the years, but Jeannie has always stayed tried and true and um, cranking through all of us, keeping us all straight and focused, which can be hard. I, I, I understand that. Oh, this is so cute. 
which is legs. I think that says, uh, yep, yeah, trick or treat, smell my feet, something to, something treat, smell, oh yeah, it just keeps going around saying trick or treat, smell my feet. Pretty cute, and a sparkly um, spider web, and this is from Susan. And I think Susan actually is one of, is the person right now that is helping Jeannie with with doing all of these. So let me just get these off to the side here so I can keep on layering up. Now this one looks like it's in tissue. There's might not going to probably be a very good chance of me salvaging tissue, so I'm just going to go ahead and tear into it. Woohoo! Sissy's on my lap too, so I can't put anything really on my lap. Witch's brew. And the paper on this is kind of like a yeah, it's like a cellophane, and then she's done a back layer to it. Really cool. Thank you very much. And this is from Heidi. And Heidi's also one of those talented ones that you just quite never know what she's going to come up with. All right. Now, I have to tell you, this one, she has given us washi tape, um, layers of washi tape. So let me think about this. And do I have... Let me... I'm looking for my honeybee scissors, and I know there's somewhere to be had. All right, let's see if I can do this some kind of way. Hold on a second. Sorry, but I guess this is what happens when you do it live, or not really live, but you do it in person. I'm going to see if I can't just get the card out of the side here without messing up the card all right I might have just made it okay here we go let's see how I did I probably did slit the plastic that the card was in yeah it looks like I did do that that's okay that's okay but anyway there's washi tape all wrapped around that so I need to uh, remember that and here we go it looks like Frankenstein cut out and some ghosties and a big old boo and this one is from Dar. Uh, okay. This one, I'd like that on the outside of the envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Let me get that out of the way before I pick it up. And then I'm not a happy person. All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh, it's like a slide. Now, how cool? Let's see if I can. It's so cool. That is really a surprise. This is by Deb, and um, like I said, I think she was the hostess of this swap. And wasn't this Deb too? No, that was Sue. All right, anyway, stay focused, Elaine. But that is very cool, Deb, I have to say now. You got it going on there. Very cool. Oh, my heavens, and that fussy cutting on that <laughs> makes me cringe. All right, trick or treat, black cat, spider webs, pretty, 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 pretty raised up ovals. Um, this one is by Kathy. So thank you very much, Kathy. All righty, let's see here. This is cute. It's sealed up with a skeleton kind of skull, I mean, a uh, skull and crossbones kind of sticker. Oh, yep, didn't save it. <clears throat> oh, that's so funny. Witch's brew. I've seen those little ladies before. So there, she's put them on a card and they're having them some cocktails. And this is by Deb. So now that's funny. This is a Deb and this is a Deb. And you see the creativity, you know, the switch up. So, yep, yep, yep. All right, here we go. Uh, this is looks like some die cuts. And um, I guess Deb gave us an extra one. Pretty cool. And the envelope is all pretty cool. The incredibly destructive goo reminds me of resin. I don't think I've ever touched anything as sticky as resin. You know, ever since I did that one resin thing, I have not used resin since. It was, in my opinion, a total bust. And I have resin, still have some resin, and I just can't quite bring myself to use it. All right, Elaine, get focused. All right, here we have a ghost with a pot of, I'm not sure, I would say a pot of gold, but I'm not sure, but isn't that cute, the little tape holding it all down like it's a picture, 
And this is by Iris. Very clever, Iris. Thank you very much. Very, very much. And that is cute. It's kind of like a, a witchy kind of tree and a bat. And there's a spider up here on some pretty cool textured feeling paper. And that one is a Deb. So Deb must have had some people drop out that she had to do so many. Unless I count here and there's going to be more than 31. I don't know. Let's see if I can get this washi tape off. I like trying to save washi tape sometimes and just adding a splash here and there to something. This is a pretty stout card and really cool. A lot of um, die cut kind of punch outs and the that black down there is all felty feeling. And this is from Bonnie. So thank you very much, Bonnie. Let's see if we can get this in the frame too. We're about to the end. And let's see here. This is nice paper as well. See, and I like getting paper like this because then, you know, you can always punch circles or squares and add an embellishment to something and that paper comes in handy. Three sheets to the wind. Ha, ha, ha. Do you get it? Ghosties. Three sheets. And this one is from a different genie. Spells her name different too. All right, let's see here. This this is from this same genie. So grab your cape, find your broom. Halloween is coming soon. Now, as you can see, there's some people that had to do them more than once. You know, more than one day. So um, consider joining the club. You know, the little group. It's not a lot of pressure. You just have to do one swap a quarter. Most of the time, that consists of either three cards, or it might mean to do a mingle. Remember, I did that napkin swap with just one partner. You know, that counts towards your um, participation. And I don't know that anybody's, like, really keeping deep track. Um, of course, if you don't do it all the time. And, and the main thing is, too, is when you sign up for something that you fulfill your obligation and you don't flake on it. That's the main, I mean, that's really the main rules. This one is pretty cool. I guess that's kind of, oh, I see it now. That's a spider, a crystal spider. Way cool. Trick or treat with a ghosty on the back. And this one is from Katrina. And um, that one traveled a very far, very long way. And let's see here now. On this one, it's some pretty like fall pumpkin y kind of paper. I like it. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> oh. This is a Frankenstein, like a really tall Frankenstein who is really creepy. And it looks like she did some patchwork paper behind it. She put some work into this. Very cool. Very cool. And this is from Lucy. Let me tell you about Lucy. I wasn't going to plan to do this. But Lucy's been in the group for a really long time, too. And Lucy has never forgotten me. You know, I think I've told you before, I had to step away for a little while you know, life just kind of turned upside down. And Lucy would send me the cutest little notes, handmade cards, thinking about me. And she'd go on vacation and send me a postcard on vacation. So even though I've never met Lucy, I feel like we're we're friends and, and I do appreciate her very much. Um, this looks like somebody made this envelope, did some um, spraying or or what. What did I do with Lucy? Oh, this was Lucy's envelope. See, the envelope was so cute. I was thinking it was a card. Oh, this is funny. This is some kind of monster, and it's got a crow in the tree with the spider. Loving that paper behind there. It kind of just looks like regular book paper. That little story doesn't look so haunting, but then they colored it orange. And I should have known. Terry is another one of those that is so darn creative, and I've always enjoyed getting the things that she has made. Alrighty, so here we go with some some more paper to use. Put in my scraps. <clears throat> and let's see here. That is pretty cool. Just those eyes peeking through the fence. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of, don't you? Anybody that knows me knows that I've hit like five deer in like two, two and a half years now. And that's, that's kind of what it looks like before they come out of the woods at me. <laughs> and this is by Anne. 
I'm sorry, Ian, that that reminded me of my dear stories, but, oh, Lord have mercy. I, I When I go down my road in the morning, I think I'm the first one that goes out there. So I'm the one that wakes them up. And um, I, I have never gone so slow as I do these days. All righty. This is from MC. Let's read this here if I can. Once upon a midnight dreary, why I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten aura. While I nodded, hardly napping, suddenly there's dawn, dawn a clapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. And what's his name? I can't, it's escaping me right now. Um, Edgar Allan Poe. There we go. That's what I, who I think that is. So anyway, these are my swap cards that I got. And I should have been a little bit more prepared and show you what I do with these. And maybe what I'll do is I'll cut the video right here and I'll go ahead and and um, put them together and show you how I store them so I can go back and look at them later. So let me do that. I'm going to stop right here and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Um, I have a binder, three ring binder, a big one, and I use um, plastic sleeves that hold baseball cards. And I have, this is my second binder, and this one is now officially on overload as well. So I will have to start a third one now. Um, but I just go from one swap to the other. So if you remember, I showed you the fabric with words. So that was this swap. And now the next swap that I did was the Halloween. Um, I'm, I'm hiding the back of this because we do put our email addresses and stuff like that on there. Um, and usually where the cards are from. And um, that's kind of nobody's business here on the internet. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I just I just continue on with them all, and uh, it's I, I like this uh, method, and I, I did run out. I didn't have enough enough sleeves, so I will do add probably one more sleeve when I buy some more, and they're really cheap. I get them at Walmart or whatever, and um and I'll have I'll put in one more sleeve to finish out this swap with these cards. But that's what I do, and again I appreciate it. So thanks for coming by, and I'll catch you down the road, and stay creative. Stay focused, stay creative, and behave. Bye.